Okay, so, um, today we've just been getting a lot of news, haven't we? So, more movie news, but I guess you can qualify this as comic book news as well. Uh, so today, uh, it was announced, well, apparently it was announced that, uh, we now know the lineups for whose side, who will be on whose side during Captain America Civil War. Uh, the movie, I mean. I will say this, that, you know, I, you know, at first I was like, we're really gonna do a movie all about Civil War, that train wreck and event, but the more news I hear about it, and the more, like, how much the Russos are putting a lot of effort into this, I'm like, okay, maybe this will make up for that abominate, that train wreck of an event. And this lineup has really got me interested on both sides of the field. So, let's talk a bit about, um, Cap's team, the anti-registration lineup, which consists of Captain America, uh, Falcon, Hawkeye, Ant-Man, Sharon Carter, and Winter Soldier. Yeah, Bucky is on his team. So yeah, this fe this team, this whole team right here, feels very much like a anti-regist- it, it feels actually, excuse me, yeah, it's anti-registration, I, I know that. But it, it feels very, and I do mean very- Secret Avengers-ish. Like, yeah, this whole lineup, you could see if they if uh, Marvel came out with a lineup of these characters and said, oh, this is a Secret Avengers team, I would buy it. I would honestly buy that. Because this does feel like uh, these are very covert ops characters. All of them are pretty much covert ops characters. And, yeah, this would honestly feel like a Secret Avengers team. So, yeah, Cap doesn't really have a lot of powered people here. Falcon uh, it doesn't have powers here. Yeah, the only pe person with powers on this lineup is Ant-Man. That's really much it. Well, Cap has powers, obviously, with the Super Soldier Serum. But, yeah, he doesn't really have a lot of powered people. Now let's talk about um, Tony's t lineup, which consists of himself, War Machine, Black Panther, and Black Widow, and The Vision. Now, this team feels very much like an Avenger... Like, you could see this as, again, an Avengers team... And, yeah, this looks like uh, <laughs> Tony got all the uh, super-powered characters. He's got all the uh, super-powered characters in here. Really curious to know what he did to convince um, Vision to join his team. I'm really interested to see what he did to uh, convince everyone of, of uh, hey, join my side. You know, hey, Vision, join my side. War Machine, yeah, I can see why. Uh, Black Widow, I'm surprised as well. I thought she would, you know, she would see her so loyal to Cap in the past film and, you know, to Nick Fury. It And she, how she had that talk, and it made you feel like, huh, that feels like very anti-registration. So I'm wondering to myself, is she going to be uh, really on Ka on Tony's side? Because I, I know she joined in the comics on... She did join Tony's side in the comics, but I was thinking, like, that whole thing where she was very loyal to Captain America in the first film, I mean, excuse me, in Winter Soldier, I kind of thought to myself, I kind of had this weird theory in my head of, maybe she's just on Tony on Tony's team to spy on them and really she's working for Cap? I could buy that, or she could easily go the other way. I was like, no, she's just working for Cap. Excuse me, working for Tony. Yeah, she's just working for Iron Man. Either way, I would be, I would be okay with it. Yeah. So the other thing is that um, you kind of noticed we're missing a character here. We're missing a character, and we do know that she is uh, that she's going to be in this movie, and that character is Scarlet Witch. She's n it looks like she's on neither uh, Tony or Steve's team, and she's a major powerhouse. So I'm kind of thinking, is she dead? Did they kill her off? I mean, obviously, well, it would kind of suck. I mean, you built up this character in um, Age of Ultron. And, you know, she's a major powerhouse, so is she either dead? I'm hoping she's not dead, because I think, yeah, they, didn't they say she signed on for, like, uh, four, three, four more movies? Didn't Elizabeth Olsen so say she was signing on for about three, four more films? Could be wrong. But, yeah, I'm surprised she's not on either team. My guess, I'm hoping she's not dead, but here's my thing. What I, I think what's going to happen if they if she's still alive, which I'm hoping she is. But here's what I think is ha going to happen with Scarlet Witch. I think what one what's going to happen with Wanda is that she's going to kind of go the story arc of um, Ben Grimm did in Civil War, 
where he was kind of like, look, I don't want to see my friends fight. I don't want to see, you know, all my friends try to kill each other over this. I hate what's going on. I'm going to leave. That's what I'm thinking the story arc is going to be for Scarlet Witch, is that she's going to be like, look, I don't like this. The, you know, I don't, you know, I don't believe what Stark is doing is right, but on the other hand, I don't believe what you're doing is right, Steve. So I want no part of this. I'm out. <laughs> so I think that's what's going to happen is that Wanda is just going to cut ties with the Avengers and just be like, look, I'll just, you know, I can't be a part of this. I gotta go. I would, yeah, I think that's what might happen is that she's just going to be like, well, I'm out. <laughs> Maybe she'll come back in the final fight scene and, you know, either help Tony or Steve's side. Who knows? But yeah. Also, there's another character that is is going to be in this film, but isn't on either side. Yeah, Spider-Man. So, still wondering what Spider-Man's role is going to be. I'm thinking it's still going to be... I think they just said it's going to be a cameo at this point. I think, yeah, at this point, it's just going to be an after credit scene or just a cameo appearance. I don't think it'll be a massive thing, as they've kind of built it up to be a few times. So yeah, the only I'm more concerned about where Wanda is in all of this. My thing is that I, I think she just up and left. That's what I'm thinking, is that she just went, I can't do this. <laughs> and just, yeah, packed up and went. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like Steve's team, yeah, they've got the most experience, you know, they've got plenty of experience behind them and a lot of espionage, but Tony's team has got all the power behind it. You know, he's he's got all the major powerhouses on his side. Not to mention some pretty smart dudes. You got Vision and uh, Black Panther on your side. Not to mention Tony himself. So he's, you've got four really smart people on on Tony's team, and three of the you know War Machine, Vision, and uh, Iron Man all together. They're pretty heavy hitters, and so and you know. Black Panther and Black Widow, also pretty... It can also pack a nasty punch. So, yeah, this, uh... This just, you know, I'm really excited. Yeah, I never thought I'd be excited for Civil War, but here we are. So, you guys tell me, what do you guys think of all of uh, the, the, line, the, uh, the lineups for Civil War? What do you, um... Do you guys like the lineups? Do you guys hate the lineups? And what do you think is going to happen with Scarlet Witch and some of the other characters that are going to be part of this whole big event because we, you know, still, you know, we don't know how big of a role Spider-Man's going to play. Uh, we don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on with this uh, film, and we're just kind of like, man, this could go anyway, really. But anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.